Hi guys, I'm here again to show you how to replicate one of the many blocks of options we have in our Yeetful Commerce product add-ons and extra options plugins live demo. Today I'm going to show you how to replicate the block of options that's assigned to the customizable print. This one has color swatches, a day picker, and it even has a text box so that customers can tell me the name that they want to add to the print. Before we get into it, let me remind you, of course, to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell down below so that you know every time we have a new video for you. Now, let's get to it. Okay, so this is what we're going to replicate, this block of options that's assigned to this product, the customizable print. So here you see that we have three color swatches that refer to the bow and the text color then we have a text box which was added using the input text add-on and this one is for customers to add the baby's name that we're going to also add to the print a date picker for them to choose a date to add as well if i click here i'm going to get a calendar where i can choose the date and finally we're going to add a product that is already in my shop a white wood frame so that customers add this product to this main product as an option okay so this is what it looks like without any options it's a simple product a baby elephant customizable print for $19.99 now let's go to the dashboard to create the block of options Yeet product add-ons add lock and we're going to name this block just print add options and the first options are the color swatches these color swatches are for the customer to choose the color of the bow and the letters so color swatch right here we're going to name it bow and text color um we're going to add three single color swatches okay so the first one is going to be the one that was actually on the picture that I showed you before. Pink. I'm adding the tooltip pink. No description, no image. The price won't change. And I'm going to do the same thing to add the other two color swatches. there so now that i have my color swatches i'm going to save save again and let's go to rules to assign this block of options to the baby elephant customizable print i'm going to show these options to all users save back to the site refresh and now i have my three color swatches pink yellow blue you know that i have the same tooltip as the name of the color itself as the name of the option so why don't we go ahead and hide this the label and maybe have these color swatches rounded instead of squared so back to the dashboard first we're going to hide the label so choose the set of options display settings and scroll down to hide options labels yes something to be aware of we currently have the options per row set to five that's why they're all together because in the single row we could add five color swatches if i were to change this to one it would just be one color swatch per row so now that i chose to hide the labels i'm going to save here save again and i'm going to change the color swatches style so style scroll down color swatch square no rounded save options back to the side refresh there so i don't have the labels anymore if i hover over one of the color swatches the tooltip shows up and i see that it's the color blue so i don't really need the labels there and the color swatches are rounded now now let's go add the second set of options back to the dashboard and we're going to head over to options block 
scroll down to choose the options block that we were working on and I'm going to add options. This one was the input text. This was the option to enter the baby's name so that we can have it customized in the print. We're going to choose this and we're going to give this a title that is going to be the title for this add-on and for the next one that we're going to add later on. So the title is going to be customization and the label is just going to be enter the baby's name. We can add a tooltip right here, baby's name, and we're going to set this up as required. So the customer is going to have to give me the name of the baby, is going to have to type the name of the baby for me to print it on the image and for him to have the product, okay? So save, save again, back to the site, refresh, Great, so now we have the customization title right here, the label enter the baby's name and the tooltip baby's name. Now, if I wanted to add this to cart without filling out the text box, I would get this because the option is required. Now, I don't really like the way that it looks so, so small. I would prefer this to look a bit bigger so I'm going to go back to the dashboard. I'm going to select this set of options and under display settings, I'm going to choose just one per row and I'm going to use a grid layout. You can choose the width of the option here. I'm going to choose 50%. Save. Save again. Back to the side. Refresh. And now it does look better. The width of my text box is 50%. If I had chosen 100%, it would be this width. Okay, so we're going to add a third option right now. Remember, the third option had the same title customization. So back to the dashboard, add options, date. No title here because of what I mentioned before. I'm going to paste the label here. Let's just add a simple tooltip. No description necessary. No change in the price. Date format, we're going to leave it as it is. Start year 2021, same for end year. For date, we're going to choose the current day as default date. So by choosing start year and year 2021, they're not going to be able to choose any date beyond December 31st, 2021. And I'm not going to set any other limits than that. Save. Save again. Back to the site. Refresh. There we go. Now we have the option underneath this other add-on that has a title. This title, as I said before, applies to both add-ons. And I'm having the same issue I had before with this add-on. I'm having it here. It's too small. I want it to be bigger. So we're going to do basically the same thing we did for the previous add-on. We're going to go back to the dashboard. We're going to select the set of options, head over to display settings, scroll down. Instead of five options per row, it's going to be just one. We're going to use a grid layout. And instead of a hundred, I'm going to give it a 60% width. Save. Save again. Back to the site, refresh and there we go. Now this is 60%. This one was 50%. That's why this one is a bit bigger. I have my tooltip right there. Date my label. Choose a date to show. Today as the default date. And if I click here, I can choose any date until December 2021. Now let's go add the fourth set of options. 
The fourth and final set of options is going to be a product that I already have in my shop. So I'm going to choose the product add-on. I'm going to paste the title right here. And I'm going to select the product that I want to add as an option to this print. It's a frame. There we go. It already has a price, of course, because it is already published in my shop. So I'm going to use price of linked product. I'm going to save. Save again. Back to the site. Refresh. There is my white wood A4 frame. There is my label. I didn't add a tooltip. Add a frame for this print to your card. If I add this to card, the price is going to go up, of course, because this product is linked to the actual product's price. So now let's add the options to the card. I'm going to choose the same color as we have here in this picture. I'm going to enter a baby's name. I'm going to choose a date. And I'm going to add to cart because I already have this one selected. View cart. And there I have the main product's name, Baby Elephant Customizable Print. I have my options, the colors which I chose, the name of the baby, the date. You see that I have here plus zero dollars because none of these options increased the main product price, but this one did. This one is the frame that I added as a product add-on and it is $9.99. That's why the total price is $29.98 and here is the main product's image. Okay guys, so that's how you can replicate the block of options that we have in the customizable print inner life demo using color swatches, text box, day pickers and a product as an option that we already have in the shop. Okay guys, that was it for our video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and we'll see you again for our next video.